Sambro, just below the middle section now, and it's a killer. The gradient is a killer. Just stopping, taking my breath. So there's barley down there. New church in Pendle is just above, below Green Hill there, I think. Yeah. So it's quite a good one. Back to the hill. Absolutely gorgeous. It's starting to spit now. It's getting steeper. I've got that distance again now on these stones, I believe. Once I get to the top of there, then it starts going up with about this distance again on these kind of steps. The steps are easier now. I wouldn't say they're easier. But when you're up here, when you're up here, and you can just keep sitting down, and you take that in, then it makes you just want to sit. So I'll get to the top there, and then there's a trackway that takes you up there to that point. I mean two minds whether to go straight up there and cut that out but I don't think I'd do it. There's lots of loose rock. So I've got that last stretch to do before it turns into a trackway. This guy going up here, he slapped me three times now. He starts again. I don't know how he's doing it. Apparently there's a, a, a trackway from that red tent and it zigzags and you can go up that way. This is the step way, this is the steep way that I've took today. Um, I think in future I would go that way because this way it's just it's not too bad now here but I say halfway up there it was a killer so I'm nearly at the halfway point now there he goes by the time I get oh god I nearly fell then by the time I get out where that this girl is here, he'll have walked down to the bottom and he'll be passing me again. <sighs> Better get a move on. <sighs> Forward. Go. I think it's beating me. I don't think I can do it anymore. I'm going to rest. I'm going to rest for five minutes. See how I get on. doesn't look nothing but doing it so just about to show you the steps this is what there was like at the beginning of the walk then it went quite easy to walk now these fucking stones are back it's like doing step aerobics but harder Somebody told me they had the uh, Fitbit watch on from the red tent to the top. I think she said it was 9,000 steps, smell like that. Smell like that. Probably got it wrong. But they're not easy. You can see they're not easy. So I'm near the top now and the cloud, the cloud's coming down now. 
but this is worth it. All that pain, all that pain I've just endured to get to this point. I don't care if it snows now. I really don't care if it snows because Pendle, you're worth it. You're worth it. And somebody can't be bothered to take the shit home. So, yeah. Don't worry, mate, whoever left that here. I'll take it and recycle it for you. You lazy son of a bitch. Right. So I don't know which way I'm going now. See you in a minute. So we've got to the top of that stretch. Then we've got another stretch to go now. Apparently this is easier. It's going to get windy because we're on the head of Pendle now. I believe the trick point is, we can see the trick point. So they're just coming, getting to the top of this track. And then we've probably got about another mile to the trig. I don't know where Alison is. She's up there somewhere. Oh, my legs. Can I see over there? See the clouds now on the Irish Sea. I'm going to have to put my coat on soon. See you at the trick. So I've just walked from the trig along here. Now I'm coming down the other side, which is supposed to be easier on the legs. You can see the gravel is a lot better. It's less steep. Um, pure pendle grit up here. Obviously, there's been a lot of mining taking place. A lot of quarrying. So they're already stripping it back, aren't they? They've been stripping it back probably thousands of years. Obviously people walk up here and they'll probably climb up to that part, but it's not advisable. So I've spoke to Alison. Alison's, uh, <laughs> Alison was, I don't know where the red tent is now, it's the bottom of here, the red tent. And I've got to literally Go past that farm somehow. Go past that farm. I really don't know where I'm going now. I'm totally lost. Um, I'll find it when I get down there. Uh, but I'm absolutely loving it. So there's some interesting loose rocks there. Oh God, I'm being ate by midges. So there's the sun getting ready to set in the west. So that's west, we know that. That'll be west just there, between those two stones. And there's east, across there. So there's Barley. It's looking for new church now. New church is behind there, I think. That's green owl. That's green owl there. I think. Let me get my bearings. Go along there. Oh, it's somewhere on there. Um, but look how flat it is in that valley just there. Such a lush, beautiful valley. And you can see where the industry was during the Industrial Revolution. So there's Great Ambuddon right over there. That's where I live, right on that outskirts there. Twas Burnley. 
there's Yorkshire. There's high points right across there is Yorkshire. And being out like mad, I can see the rain now. I can see the rain coming in. It's coming down into the valley. So it'll probably get to me by the time I get down there. So I can see now, I can see from this point um, that there's a lot of mining on this side. A lot of mining. Um, and they've just took them hill away. I knew they'd done quite a lot of mining up Pendle. <sighs> but I've just photographed some interesting some interesting um, layers. Some of this some of this is like what you'd find it. Past a cliff, very much so. Very much so. Where's cast a cliff from here? I'm looking for black or black or just beyond those trees there. There's black or so. There's the wind farm. So cast a cliff is right there. And that's wid up more. So if that comet, 562 AD, would have hit cast a cliff, it would have come in that trajectory. From north, northeast to south, west. Here's my friend with a hat on, what's doing? Ah, oh, that guy, he's doing this, is, I think it's his fourth time up here since I got here. So he's been up Pendle four times, it's took me once and I'm not even halfway down the first time yet. This is the guy what's doing it for charity, he's doing it for 48 hours. So I'm near enough down at the guy's tent now and I'm just looking the steepness. So I'm near enough the bottom now back down to the bottom where I started off the climb well the bottom I started off right down there and I've come up through these fields up to the tent there. I think I got to that gate and I said to Alison I can't go any further. <laughs> I just couldn't. So I sat down there, left Alison to carry on, met up with her down at the guy's tent down there 
Um, I sat and had a sandwich. And then Alison started to set off up there. She got to this point here. And I thought, there's no way I can get up there. But by the time I had had my sandwich, I carried on going. I carried on going. And I kept stopping. I stopped probably about 10 times. And just looking at it from this angle now, they've just, these are just setting off here. Once you get just past that wall there, when you get to that point, that's a killer. And I think from that point to where the next lot are, I've stopped about three or four times at that distance. Then I carried on, it seemed to go around, up, and round again, up again. It doesn't look much camera. The sun's setting now in the west. That sounds amazing. spent enough of my life on Pendle now and I feel I know her intimately I think I've got other places to climb now not research I've done enough research the battery's flat now so I'm just going to leave you with the landscape Here he comes. What's your name again? Sorry. Scott. Scott. Need it. Oh, thank you. I need it. I got up there. But you've done it twice now, haven't you? No, I mean, twice since I started to set off. We have. Is it? Since I set off. Am I that unfit? I'm not. I keep stopping. I keep looking at the rocks and the geology. I will be posting it all over Facebook. Well done.